um, undergrad years at, at UCLA, I, I majored in molecular biology and also did uh, research in immunology. So um, uh, science all, uh, always interests me. Since I uh, graduated from fellowship about 10 years ago, um, compared to what um, I'm practicing now, it's a lot different, even in the last decade. Um, you know, and it's just amazing what uh, science have done, uh, the, the research um, developments. Uh, now uh, uh, we do next generation sequencing, try to learn about uh, the patient's tumor in the molecular level. Uh, and try to find targets um, that um, that works best for patients with uh, minimal toxicity. So um, patients are living longer, uh, and uh, drugs are uh, less toxic. Uh, and hopefully, you know, the revolution uh, continues. And um, it, hopefully, you know, when we do this interview in the next um, five years, and and I can tell you uh, even a lot more um, yeah, down the road. In the past, we've been using chemotherapy that um, tries to deter cancer's growth um, uh, in a general way. So it, it, costs, um, it also harms uh, uh, healthy cells. And then the next um, s step of oncology is using targeted therapy uh, and target certain proteins that's overexpressing cancer cells. And um, in the recent years, uh, immunotherapy uh, has been used in a variety of different cancers. Um, I, I think the, um, you know through um, pharmaceutical research uh, and just knowing the science, the, how important our immune system is, um, that we were able to combine immunotherapy with uh, other targeted therapy and chemotherapy um, to uh, really um, you know uh, win this battle. Part of our training was a rotation at MD Anderson Houston, and I remember um, I rotated there uh, for the melanoma uh, department, and they were giving a combination of chemotherapy and um, uh, inter inter interferons, interleukins, which are quite toxic by immunotherapy, and now we're giving um, drugs like Optivo, Kytruda, uh, and Yervoy, which are immunotherapy with no chemotherapy, and the success rate is quite amazing and it's much easier uh, tolerated. So, uh, and there are research ongoing uh, combining uh, chemotherapy and other immunotherapy to even make the uh, uh, success even greater. Yeah, oncology patients are special, um, and they um, the worst thing that I think uh, a, a person can hear is that you got cancer. Um, so they're very brave. Um, they um, and our uh, our job is um, to work with patients, uh, keep the trust alive, keep the hope alive, um, so we can um, uh, uh, fight uh, with them together in, in this in this in this journey. Um, so it's it's very important that we uh, develop this um, uh, strong relationship with uh, with my patients. I mean, certainly there are days that um, you know that I had to de um, that have delivered bad news to patients, and those are the hardest um, days. Um, the because you know um, it's always hard to tell um, bad news to patients, but. Um, there are also times that you know I tell patients that hey the cancer is gone, uh, they're in remission, and those are, are the the best news that the patient can receive, and that uh, is um, part of the reason they uh, keep me going. Um, and and uh, I, I think with the uh, advent of many different therapies we talked about, such as immunotherapy, targeted therapy, and analyzing the uh, genetic makeup of the tumors, I think there are great hopes that uh, we'll continue to be able to um, uh, make patients live longer, make it a chronic disease, uh, even someday maybe a cure.